Hi, my Cotton Candy Cupcakes. Welcome to my Pink Sparkly channel. This is Pink Sparkly Cupcake Girl. And today I want to share with you some of the beautiful items that I got this year for Mother's Day. So if you're interested in seeing some really pretty and really cutesy girly items, then just stick around. Thanks so much for stopping by to spend some time with me today. I truly appreciate it. Hope everyone's doing well. And we'll just go ahead and jump right into the video. So grab you a snack, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, I got these really pretty um, hand soaps. And these are from Bath & Body Works. This one is Chasing Daydreams. Look how pretty that is. Packaging is gorgeous. And these two are the same. They are Pink Kiwi Berry. And also beautiful packaging on these as well. And these are like a peachy coral color. That's why I have two of the same because um, I'll put these in my bathroom. And my bathroom has two sinks, a his and a hers. <laughs> so I'll use these in my bathroom. And then I'll probably use this one in one of our guest bathrooms. But they're just gorgeous. And then I got this beautiful set here. It's a pitcher and matching glasses. And it's a beautiful, beautiful shade of pink. And um, it's pink acrylic paisley. And um, I'll show you a little bit closer up here in just a second because it does have uh, like a paisley print on it and also a floral print as well. But Y'all know we have a pool here at Magnolia Place and we love to eat outside during the summer. We rarely eat indoors. <laughs> so we have, you know, our pool and then we have our patio furniture, you know, like the, the table with the umbrella in the middle and the chairs and things like that around the pool. And so we'll eat lunch and dinner at those. And then we had a gazebo built and we also have a table and chairs in the gazebo, so we eat breakfast out there because we can watch the sun come up um, from our gazebo. So I love to have these acrylic pitchers and glasses and plates and things like that for summertime because um, they're sturdy and you know they're um, really well made. But I don't like to take anything you know made out of glass outside you know, during the summer, just because, you know, the wind or, you know, we have concrete around the pool and stuff like that. So I just love to use this style of things for our meals during the summer. Okay, and here's what it looks like. You can see the paisley print and it also has flowers. It's just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So beautiful and it's just a gorgeous shade of pink and then um, there's six of the matching glasses I just love it I think it's absolutely beautiful and it's by Laguna it's the brand And I'm actually in the process of redecorating a couple of our guest bedrooms. So I had asked for a new comforter for um, Mother's Day for a couple of the, like I said, a couple of our guest rooms. So um, I picked this one out and it is a Laura Ashley. <laughs> you know how us Southern girls love Laura Ashley. <laughs> um, and here's a picture of what it looks like and it comes with one comforter and two king shams and I'll show you a little bit closer the pattern because I'm absolutely in love with it okay I'm trying to get it in frame here it's really big and bulky <laughs> so it's kind of hard but it's a beautiful it kind of looks blue on camera but it's actually a very light kind of sage green 
I mean, kind of a greenish blue. I don't know how to explain it really, but it's a it's a beautiful soft color uh, for the background. And look at these gorgeous roses. I absolutely am in love with this. So um, I also got the matching curtains for this for Mother's Day. And um, I also got uh, wallpaper because I'm going to, right now, the, get, the two guest rooms that I'm getting ready to redo, uh, they're, the walls are just painted, but I'm going to wallpaper one wall uh, behind the bed of both rooms and then repaint the other three walls a different color, you know, something a color pulled out of this um, bedspread. Probably like a really light color out of one of the flowers here. I haven't picked the paint yet, but I was, I've already picked out the wallpaper. I'll show it to y'all when it's done. <laughs> but um, I did get the, like I said, the matching curtains and a matching wallpaper that I had picked out to go with this as well for Mother's Day. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love it. So just soft and very, it's Victorian, it's Southern, it's shabby chic, it's very feminine, and it's just gorgeous. I absolutely, I'm just in love with it. And then I got this one. It is a king quilt set, a set of three, one king quilt and two king shams. And I wanted this to go under the bedspread because um, we don't sleep with our, with our bedspreads. <laughs> you know, we fold them up at the foot of the bed when we go to bed and we sleep under our sheets and like our fuzzy soft blankets and quilts. Um, so I just thought this one was really pretty. I picked this one out to go underneath um, the Laura Ashley bedspread. So uh, when we, you know, if we have someone over to sleep in one of our guest rooms, you know, we can roll down the bedspread at the foot of the bed and it'll still have this gorgeous, you know, quilt over the bed for our guests to sleep under and it's you know still a gorgeous print it matches very well and it, it's just really really pretty so then they can you know get in the bed and sleep under this i'll try to spread it out here so you can see it a little bit better there's a picture of it but it doesn't really look Neither one of the bedspreads really look like the, <laughs> the picture that they have on the packaging. So I'll try to take something out here so you can see it a little bit better. And I got these really pretty peachy corally colored rose. Um, and I got these rose lights, little strand of lights. And I love them because they're the peachy coral color to match my bedroom perfectly. And I'll press them here in a second and show you what they look like um, when they're lit up. But they are just beautiful. Look at that. Aren't those gorgeous? So girly. And y'all know I love little battery operated string lights like this. I've shared several of them with you all. Y'all know I keep. Um, lights in my car, battery operated string lights like this in my car. <laughs> I had gingerbread ones for Christmas and then I had pink Hello Kitty ones and right now I have pink flower ones in my car. <laughs> and I got the little pink tulip ones for my birthday I shared with you all but these will match my bedroom perfectly so I'll turn my flash off and show you what they look like. Uh, when they're on. But that's so pretty. 
I just absolutely love these. So I'll sleep with these on. I like to um, sleep with little lights like this on. So I'll be putting these in my bedroom. And then also to go in my bedroom in that same peachy coral color, I got these Lush Wildflower tea lights. Which are the little tea light candles. They're in that same color of my bedroom. So, and y'all know how much I love candles. Constantly have candles going. So, I will use these in my bedroom. And then I also got this set. These are Botanical Light Fresh Cut Flowers. And they are the, they're the peachy coral color, but they're just a little bit lighter. I'll show you the difference here. You can see these are just a little bit darker. These are more of a, a blush color, and these are more of a deep uh, coral color. Those will both go perfectly around my big jacuzzi tub, but I love to take um, candlelight bubble baths <laughs> and rose petal baths in, and also my bedroom. And then I got this really pretty set of hand lotions. There's a large one and then a smaller one, and it's in Sweet Peony, made in Italy. Look at this packaging. How gorgeous is that? Made with natural extracts. I just love this packaging. Absolutely gorgeous. And I got this really pretty soap, uh, bar soap and it's Portuguese Rose Scented Soap. Look at this gorgeous packaging on this one as well. Look at that little bee. <laughs> That's so cute. It's just beautiful. And I love to have these sitting out in my bathroom, especially around my big tub. I just absolutely love it. I just love the packaging on these large um, bars of soap. They're always so pretty. I love anything rose scented. Y'all know that. <laughs> and I got this really pretty sweet and delicate rose scented candle. Look how gorgeous this is. It's like a bubblegum pink candle. The candle itself is like a bubblegum pink. And look at the beautiful flowers on the glass jar of the candle. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> I told y'all my Mother's Day was very floral themed. <laughs> Almost everything I got had beautiful flowers, which I adore. So it was perfect for me. <laughs> And I got this set of um, kitchen hand towels by Springtime Collection. Looks like they might be from Burlington. Be perfect for my kitchen. It's a set of two, they're the same. Both the towels are identical and they're very soft. And it says right here, Terry on the reverse, and it is Terry cloth on the inside. And then it's this really pretty print on the outside. Gorgeous. And I got this really pretty bird cage. It's a little white metal bird cage. It's got the, the door over here. And on the inside, it has the pink and the corally peachy color flowers and greenery. And um, this, I'm redoing our front porch. I decorate our front porch for every season, you know, for every holiday. So, you know, during 
Halloween, it's all done in Halloween, and then Christmas and Easter, things like that. And then just our normal <laughs> decor, I like to redo it every year as well. So this year I'm doing it in um, just a really pretty Victorian rose and floral theme. So I'm doing it in the pink and the corally peach flowers out there. So, and the furniture that I have out there is all white. So, um, and then I have a wreath to go on the door that matches this. So this will be really pretty sitting on one of the little tables I have out there. It's just so cute. I love it. Can't wait to get all my new uh, decor pieces out. <laughs> I'm excited and I'm in love with these two pieces they are very Victorian and I just absolutely adore them it's um, the vase the flower vase and then the matching pitcher and I just love all the texture of the background it reminds me of lace y'all know how much I love anything lace and then the beautiful um, flowers on the front of both of those. Absolutely love them. And they are um, ceramic. And I got this gorgeous gold rose heart-shaped frame. It's a five by five, you can see right there. I actually love the print that's on the inside of it. <laughs> so pretty. I love the frame. It's just trimmed all in gold roses. And look at the flowers that I got. <laughs> They're artificial flowers. I'm trying to get them in here. They have really long stems. But look at this. These will go in my bedroom perfectly. And look, I'm just trying to get down here so you can see. Let me see if I can do this. Look how it matches <laughs> the print in the frame. Isn't that so pretty? I actually might try to find a way to cover that up right there where it says 555 or maybe print out another one um, try to find another one that looks like this that, that has that on it because I'd really like to keep that floral print in that frame because I just think it's beautiful together. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Be so pretty in my bedroom. And look at this, y'all. It's a bust of a Victorian woman and it's a candle. Look at this. Y'all know how I love this you can see I have a pink one back here and then hold on one second you can see I have a, a large marble Victorian um, a bust of a Victorian lady back here I have them all throughout her home I just love them but she is a candle you can see here it's got the wick and I will probably never burn her <laughs> because I wouldn't want to because I mean, she would just melt. <laughs> Her little head would melt. <laughs> but I love this. It's so beautiful. It's just so feminine. I absolutely adore her. So, she is a candle, but like I said, I will preserve her. <laughs> for, just for decor. Because <laughs> she's too pretty to, to burn. <laughs> And y'all know how much I love my tea, my teapots and teacups, and you know how much we love to drink hot tea every day, every morning, and every night. And I got this traditional English tea, 1869 black tea blend. And I love the pink um, tin that the tea bags are in. Love the packaging. I'll actually sit this out in my kitchen because it's just really pretty. And my kitchen is all, you know, like shabby chic pink roses. So this will be perfect. Love it. 
And then I received another one of these candles. I already have this one, but that is totally fine that I got another one because I adore it. It's Spring Garden Number no. 2 in Peony Melon by the Paper White Candle Company. And I love it. It smells so nice. It smells very uh, spring, summery, the scent. And the packaging is beautiful. It's pink. It's a pink glass frosted jar. And look at the gorgeous flowers. The pink bow has a white wooden lid on top. And like I said, it smells beautiful. And I just love the packaging. So super glad that I got another one of these because <laughs> I've actually already um, burned the other one <laughs> quite a bit. So now I have a backup. <laughs> when um, I use the other one up <laughs> and I have asked for some uh, artificial flowers to do some arrangements with here at Magnolia Place so I got a bunch <laughs> here's one of the <laughs> styles you can see how many <laughs> there are Here's one uh, bush of it, what they look like. And there's several uh, bushes of it. I can't get them all in the frame, but you can see there's just a sea of <laughs> the pink flowers. They're gorgeous, so. I like to have these all throughout our home. So I'll be making some arrangements with these. And then here's a big bunch of the peachy coral, kind of a little hint of pink in there, roses that I wanted to do some arrangements with as well. And then here's a different style right here also of the really light blush peachy coral color but it's in a different style there's a bunch of those as well and then here's another bunch of uh, more of the pink like the traditional pink roses that I like to use in arrangements throughout the house. And I got these beautiful pink glass candle holders. They're just gorgeous. Still have <laughs> the tags on them. Looks like they, uh, I think that might be Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Not sure. But it's Monet's Garden, <laughs> um, but they're beautiful. Like I said, they're pink glass. I love the design. You all know how much I love my candles. <laughs> and then I also got the large, tall pillar candles, the cotton candy pink ones to go um, in the candle sticks, the candle holders. That's gorgeous. And this, I think, is actually one of my favorite um, gifts that I got for Mother's Day this year. You all know how much I love swans. If you've been following my channel, you know I just absolutely adore them. I think they're so beautiful, and they're just gorgeous and elegant and graceful. They're just magnificent creatures to me. <laughs> and... Um, I think I'm actually, this is a large piece, and I think I'm going to actually put this out on my front porch to go with my Victorian shabby chic decor out there. And I think I'm going, it's, it's real deep here in the middle. It's like empty. It's hollowed out. And I think I'm going to put potting soil in it and put little pink, peachy, you know, coral colored flowers in it and have this sitting on my front porch. 
I just love this. I absolutely adore this so much. <laughs> And I got another Victorian teacup and saucer to add to my ever-growing <laughs> collection. This one is beautiful with the pink flowers. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it, as you can tell. If y'all been following my channel, you know this. I have these all throughout our home. I love to decorate with tea, um, teapots and teacups. It's beautiful. Love that. Love the little purple flowers there in the middle. And then I got these really pretty plates. It's a set of four, and they're all different prints. And um, I told y'all that we love to sit outside in our gazebo and eat breakfast of the mornings. And um, like I said, it's it's our gazebo's lo like located right next to our pool, and we have trees around our pool, and we have bird feeders tons of bird <laughs> bird feeders in our yard you know hanging from the trees so we have birds just of all different colors and um shapes and sizes so we we just have tons of different birds my honey buys specific bird feed to attract certain birds so we love to sit out there and watch the sun come up. We love to sit out there and have breakfast and have our morning tea or coffee. And we love to bird watch. And so these will definitely be perfect for breakfast plates for us to take out to our gazebo. And I, I told you we have a table and chairs in the gazebo for us to eat. And my honey actually installed a ceiling fan out there for me. Um, he ran electricity to the gazebo. So we have lights um, draped around it. So at night it's all lit up. And then he put a ceiling fan in it. So, you know, the during the summer, the warmer months, we can sit out there with the fan on and still be able to eat, you know, comfortably without, without it being so hot. And um, these will be perfect because the cushions that I have and the chairs in our gazebo have flowers and birds on them. So this will be perfect to use out there. Here's the first one, the little yellow butterfly. That's so pretty. And then here's the second one. Has two birdies and two butterflies. And then here's the third one. <laughs> Look at him. He's all fluffy. <laughs> With two more butterflies. And then here's the fourth one. Love those bright yellow flowers. Aren't these just so pretty? I love these. So let me see if I can get them all four in frame here without breaking them. You see them? Just beautiful. So like I said, these will be perfect for us to sit outside and um, in our gazebo and eat breakfast while watching all the beautiful birds in our backyard. And then I got these two large storage trunks. They're so pretty. I just wanted to, I'll take them, um, I'll, do, I'll show them to you separately, but I just wanted to stack them on top of each other so you can see there's a larger one and then um, a smaller one, but they're both really kind of big. <laughs> they're good size. And I'll share with you what they look like. But I just kind of wanted you to see how they stack on each other. Okay, here's the larger one. It has a gold um, closure here on the front. And here's what it looks like on the inside. And I love using this style of storage because it does remind me of 
like what a Victorian woman <laughs> would put her things in during the Victorian era because, you know, they use trunks a lot. And I just love this. It's kind of a mauve color on top. Here's the print of the flowers on the top of it. And then it has the matching flowers all around on the sides. And it does have little handles here for you to pick it up if you need to. But I just love it. I just love to store all, you know, just different things around my house in these beautiful storage boxes. And then I'll share the uh, smaller one with you. Okay, here's the smaller one. It has the same gold closure. And the top of it's kind of a light blush peachy color, but it has the same floral print on the top and on the sides. And then it has the same pattern on the inside. They're so pretty. I just love these. Love, love, love them. So, and you can put anything in here. You can store, you know, um, perfume. You can store towels. You can store stationary things, makeup, just, you know, anything you want to. You can put them in your kitchen pantry to store things or your laundry room to store things. I have them in my laundry room and in my pantry. <laughs> or you can even just sit them out, you know, around your house because they're so beautiful. You know, they would look gorgeous just sitting out, sitting on the floor, stacked on top of each other, and you can store things in them, books, or just really anything you want. So, so pretty. Okay, I think I'll go ahead and stop this video right here because I'm already at 30 some minutes, but I'll keep recording and I'll bring you all part two of what I got for Mother's Day this year and the next couple of days because I still have a lot of really cute items that I want to share with you guys because you might see something that you want to pick up for yourself. So make sure to stay tuned for part two and I still have my birthday vlog to share with you guys and my Mother's Day vlog um, to share with you the things that we did on Mother's Day weekend. So make sure to stay tuned for all three of those videos, part two of this one and my birthday vlog and Mother's Day vlog. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. And I truly appreciate you watching and spending time with me today. If you haven't joined the Pink Sparkly Cupcake Squad, I would love to have you. So make sure to um, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day. And until next time, stay sweet, stay pink, take care, and God bless. And remember, don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. Bye for now.